In this presentation, we will take a look at the new anthology by the Temple of Ascending Flame, dedicated to the Spider Goddess, who is also one of the main deities in the ritual system of the Temple. The Spider Current is an important part of the Draconian tradition, but the Spider Goddess is not as popular as some of the other spirits and deities of the Left Hand Path. With this anthology, we are hoping to revive the interest in the Spider Mysteries among the Left Hand Path practitioners. In this video, I will show the preview of the list of contents, sample pages from the book, and the book itself. In the Draconian tradition, the Spider Goddess is the Queen of Space and the Weaver of the Web in the Void. Her role and attributes are much more complex than what we know about her from ancient mythologies, where this archetype is known under such names as Arachne, Uttu, Anansi, the Spider Woman, Maya, and many others. In Clifodic Kabbalah, she is the queen of dark labyrinths beneath the cosmic tree. Her web extends across the void, bridging the gulf between the day side and the night side, waking and dreaming, the conscious and the unconscious. Her power is magical venom, which is deadly to mundane consciousness, but essential in the formula of initiation, because it triggers the process of transformation through the inner alchemy of the mind. She is also the weaver of fate, and the spider as a symbol stands for the art of manipulation of destinies, and the ability to maintain balance between past and future, spiritual and physical, creation and destruction. As the dark initiatrix, she shows us how to gaze through the veil of illusion and access the web of fates, how to change and manipulate it at its roots. And by invoking her essence and absorbing her venom, we ourselves acquire the power to weave it, thus becoming the true center of the universe and the very root of all manifestation. These spaces of the Spider Goddess and many more are explored in this book. Like other anthologies by the Temple of Ascending Flame, it contains a unique view of the spider current, accessed and presented from the perspective of the Draconian Initiate. It is meant for other Draconian practitioners, but it also contains information that will be of interest to anyone who wants to explore the mysteries of the spider in general. The symbolism of the spider's web and the spider in general is full of all kinds of ambiguities. In some cultures, the appearance of the spider's web in the house is a bad sign, and sometimes it is even an omen that someone is about to die. In others, a spider weaving its web in the corner of the room is considered a sign of good luck, prosperity, and the spider's presence is welcome. In ancient Greece, it was believed that sleeping under a spider's web triggers dreams about the future and reveals the truth about the sleeping person. It was a form of an oracle, and the same idea is found in many other cultures across the ancient world. Today we either fear spiders or tolerate them, and some people even have them as their pets, but we rarely think about the spiritual symbolism. By working with the spider current we can change that, and gain a better understanding of what it means to be a spider, or how we can use the web as a metaphor for our personal development. There are many things to be learned from the spider goddess, and contemplating her web is only one of many aspects of her multidimensional gnosis. Today we can see the influence of fascination with the spider symbolism in such characters of popular culture as the Spider-Man or the Black Widow, as well as in many other depictions in books, movies and video games. Finally, the motive of spinning the web across the space Connecting various objects and people together is also seen as an analogy for the Internet or the World Wide Web, which is often seen as the most powerful manifestation of the spider goddess in the modern world. Spider Gnosis is a fascinating domain to explore, and we hope that this anthology will encourage you to your own research. At the end of our anthology, you will find the list of resources recommended to study the spider current that we have found interesting and relevant to our work with Arachne. Also, if you have any questions about the articles included here, you're welcome to reach out to the authors. Their contact information is included in the contributors section. Now let's take a look at the list of contents. The book starts with the introduction, which presents the purpose of the book, 
and explains what and who is the spider goddess and why this current can be relevant in self-initiatory work. Then we have a variety of articles presenting the historical background of some of the spider deities, as well as the author's personal view of them. These articles include both essays and rituals. And so we have Our Lady of Silk and Space, Crawling All Over Me, Cobweb Meditation, Dream Work with Arachna, Spider Goddess of the Cliff Of, The Cocoon of Arachna and the Gift of Poison, Clifodic Ritual Reflections with Arachne as Initiatrix, Muse and Guide, Spider Sorcery and the Black Sun, Conjuring the Spider Goddess, Spider Dream Oracle, Odds and Immortality, Weaver of Fate, The Spider Goddess of the Labyrinth, The Gnosis and Alchemy of the Spider, and Arachne as a Zodiac Sign. Right now the book is available in two editions, paperback available on Amazon and the hardcover edition is available on Lulu. The links to ordering pages are provided in the description of this video. The Kindle ebook edition will be released later this year. Possibly like other anthologies, it will also be translated into other languages in the future. But for all information about such projects, please sign up for our newsletter. You'll find the link to it on our website. More essays, rituals and other information regarding the temple, our projects and upcoming publications can be found on our website, which is ascendingflame.com. And if you have any questions about our publications or anything else, feel free to email us.